Ooh, that's a definite flavor of squee. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 7. And we finally have one. We have the most pointless episode of this entire season. Nothing happens in this that we don't already know. I'm not detracting any points from how it was put together, though, because it was actually put together rather competently. My main gripes are... There's an entire storyline with Dean finding this friend of his who we've never seen before, who you can automatically tell is going to be the villain of the episode. They then spend this time at a bar, which by the way is purely just a reason for them to show off Jensen singing. I didn't watch the episode last night, but I swear I could hear at one point the amount of squeeze just grew to a volume that was incomprehensible like that's a lot of pandering but again this is the last season so they might as well do it apparently all the beer actually is the family business brand the one that jensen ackles owns with his wife and his brother apparently which is kind of cool i guess the only good part i would say is that it shows that sam and aline are becoming a relationship which is fine which is really really good I like that those two are really good together just in terms of their characters and it would be nice for both of these two to have something. So this is possibly an idea of what's going to happen with the end of the show. Maybe these two might be a relationship depending on who doesn't die, who does die. But honestly guys, this episode was boring. Everything is so by the numbers. This Russian gypsy character who I completely forgot had been in the show. But the instant he came back, it's like, well, he's obviously going to try and portray them for something. But Cass had some balls and stopped that. So you've got that. Mind you, he says that we have a friend named Bobby who's watching your niece. But wait, what did that mean? Like, Bobby Angel Bobby? Or just a friend? Or what did that mean? How did they have that photo? They didn't explain that at all. But in the end, it doesn't matter because what they find out is what we all know which is that they have a connection and that Sam has a feeling now that God is weak and they can beat them. Woo! Could have totally skipped this episode. 100% you could have totally skipped this episode. Nothing consequential happens in it. Two out of seven. The two points are because this is a competently put together episode. The rest of it is just pointless. This is such a useless episode. The conversations between Dean and his friend don't matter because we've seen this a billion times before. If anyone says, Oh, it's about Dean realizing that he's got to do the right thing again. God forbid we've had this storyline 20,000 times. I already knew this was going to happen. Couldn't we put this in an episode that would actually mean something? Well, they found out about Sam's powers. Literally, you could watch two minutes of this episode and it would matter. In the end, guys, I don't know. I'm just kind of... I feel like I'm putting more emotional effort into this episode than this episode did. And that's a lot to say, considering I can't believe how useless this episode is. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. I'll just go back to watching Jensen singing then. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. <sniffs> hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.